Hi guys, Silver Butterflies here. As I promised, so this one I just showed you previously, Temptations of Paloma Picasso. And it smelled divine for me, at least for me personally, because it brings me my memory back and it brings me all that white. And I decided to show you this. It's uh, Paloma Picasso. And I sprayed it in my left hand. So both of them are masterpieces. And I think it's worthwhile to have it, even if you don't use it. And if you're a perfume aficionado, I think you must to have this both in your collection. I think it's worthwhile to have it just to have a reference in your library. This is uh, something else. It's uh, never be back and just grab it before it's all gone before it's too late so I show you the notes of uh, Paloma itself it's woody musky floral earthy and aromatic so this is a little prehistory uh, the perfume created by Paloma Picasso the daughter of famous painter. This fragrant cell portrait uh, is on my <laughs> wall over there, I showed you in the previous uh, show. Her maternal uh, grandfather was a perfumer. So as a child, she was familiar with uh, combining smells, cheating scents, uh, creating scents. Her artistic talent is something she inherited from her father. Therefore, she was very successful in her work as for jewelry designer for Yves Saint Laurent and Tiffany. Her favorite perfume is Chanel Number no. 5. So she wanted to create a perfume with aldehydic accord. Red is her favorite color and black is a symbol of power. This perfume is an elegant floral chipra with Mediterranean uh, temperament but because the pe uh, perfume was uh, very complex it was very hard to the market she was afraid that her associates uh, would change the formula but luckily this didn't happen the fragrance opened with fresh and spicy note of coriander angelica and carnations aldehydes are in harmony with Ilan Ilan, Jasmine in Hyacinth, and woody notes of oak moss, patchouli, and sandalwood, vetiver, and tobacco blend with original animal notes, castorium, civet, and musk. Launched in 1984. And uh, strange, uh, Paloma Picasso wasn't uh, flushing herself as much in society. Although she is literally diva herself, she is so pretty, she is uh, magnificent, she is uh, so mesmerizing. And um, I like to look at the magazine with, uh, with her picture. And um, it's very sad, but people not appreciating it uh, as much as like back in the day. But it's so mysterious and so sexy, both of them. But Paloma, every person who collects perfumes should have that one. Even if you don't use it, even if you um, won't like this bitter, um, very dark perfumes, you still must have it, at least one little miniature, just to have some uh, comprehension of that time, of that era, and, uh, you know, uh, the sense, uh, the, uh, you know, the air of the time. I'm sorry, I'm still with a husky voice because it's, um, I, I had like reflection of flu, but I still wanted to uh, give this uh, reportage. I'll leave you as that for now. I'll tell you more later about perfumes. And I wish you all the best. I'm your silver butterfly. Have perfumes, have fun. Bye for now.